Hello, classy, classy people. Wayne Bolden here, TGIF. Thank God it's Friday. Another weekend is upon us. We're here today to do the marathon race over there on Sunday. That's right, September 12th at Kentucky Downs, the Lady Marathon, going one mile and five sixteenth. It is the ninth race. It is a field of 12, and it's for $555,000. Before we get going, as always, you know I ask that you support us any and each way that you can so we can stay on the air, continue to bring you great contents, and have a bunch of fun. Ring the bell, of course, subscribe, and also join our membership, as always. And, of course, donate us to uh, help support us here at the network and anything else you could do. To help us, as always, we do appreciate everything that everybody's done for us. Well, here's a field of 12, and it is very, very tightly matched race, you know. It's a very, very closely matched race. I think the morning line favorite of the 12 is literally 4-1. to one. Yeah, so actually Michelin is 7-2, to two, the number 3. So the field is top and bottom very, very nicely uh matched here in this marathon but we have a big big opinion we are absolutely in love with someone here but let's just dive in right away uh start from the top as we normally do and go through the field of 12. a uh, joy of treasure uh 20 starts with two wins and uh three thirds um very very nice uh, uh phil a uh, mare by kitten's joy uh newton is our trainer and Again, uh, Joy of Treasure, a uh, fairly nice horse in her own right, but just looks like she's in the wrong spot here. She's 30 to 1 on the morning line, and that's about right. Her speed figures are really, really light. She's been keeping allowance company in the last race, uh, a few races, and uh, I don't think that she's uh, quite up to the task here. And that's Joy of Treasure, the number one. We're going to throw her off the ticket. Naomi Broadway, what a great name, Naomi Broadway. A Brazilian bred, got 21 starts, two wins, three seconds, and five thirds. This horse likes to run in the money, but don't win very often. And her speed figures, Noemi, no, no, Noemi Broadway, her speed figures is just as weak as Joy of Treasure. So, Naomi, we're going to go ahead and throw Naomi Broadway right off the ticket, the number two horse. The one and two just appear to be really, really overmatched in this spot to me. Um, I don't like them. They're big, big prices at 30 to 1. So, again, you can always use these horses and tries and supers just to spruce it up. And maybe they can suck up and spruce up your tries or, or supers. But I don't like the number one or two in this spot at all, particularly you know, I'm talking in the win spot. I don't think neither one of them is a, a win contender. And here's your morning line favorite, and I guess rightly so, Michelini. A very, very nice uh, filly, four-year-old, 16 starts, five wins. That's fairly good. That's about a third of her, her, her uh, wins are of her starts, uh, two seconds and one-third. For $675,000, and this is Michael Stenham's horse. Very, very nice horse. Uh, Joe Rosario has the uh, mount here. Um, she did come out of a grade three stake race at Delaware, which was the Robert G. D uh, Dick Stakes uh, Memorial on um, July 10th and she ran seventh to Dakaya and who's a very very nice horse and the horse that I'm interested in beat her as well uh, Lucky uh, Luck Money um, but she ran seventh by 15 I'm not quite sure what happened she was seven and two in the race with Joey B up on July 10th but they did turn her out and she's been away for 64 days so maybe she just need a freshening I still think that she's up against it Michelini in this spot. She is the 7-2 to favorite and I guess okay uh, She's been keeping good company, but she just has not had any really great form in the last three starts So again at best I could do is use uh, Michelini underneath, but I, to be honest with you There's nothing about the favorite here that I like um, I mean, I don't know who the morning line guy is, but he was hard-pressed to make a morning morning line favorite and he made this one and there's no way I would have made this horse a morning line favorite, you know. I mean, I don't want to knock her too hard because she has $675,000 to her credit. And she's won five of uh, 16 starts. So, of course, she has some, some value and, of course, you know, she can run. But in this spot, coming off her last two or three races, she just doesn't look like she's in any conditioning. 
Uh, the only positive that I can really say is that she has a 64-day layoff, which she probably needed. So she may fire fresh, you know, off the bench. Uh, we are going to mile and 516. She does run long races, mile and three eighths, and stuff like that. So, again, I don't particularly like Michelini here. I think it's a bad, bad morning line. Um, but that's not my job over there to make the morning line. It's my job here to make the morning line. So that's what we're talking about. We're going to throw Michelini right off the ticket. We don't like her, top or bottom. Okay. And the number four, well, here's the horse that I have a great, great weakness for, Luck Money. Luck Money is a really, really nice uh, four-year-old filly. Kentucky bred by looking at Lucky. That's right. I believe Country House was by looking at Lucky. That is true. Looking at Lucky was some kind of horse trained by Bob Baffert. I think she, looking at Lucky, won north of $3 million. Very, very nice horse. Very, very nice sire. And uh, Luck Money, to me, in this spot, man, I really, really like this horse. I believe it's the best bet on Sunday's card. Luck Money has 14 starts, 3 wins, and 5 seconds and 4 thirds. Here's a horse that looks like she just doesn't want to win races. She run 2nd 5 times and 3rd uh, 4 times with only 3 wins out of 14 starts. But I think she turned the corner once her 2 year old, once her 3 year old campaign ended December 26 at Santa Anita in the American Oaks behind uh, going to Vegas and sharing. Um, they turned her out in December, and she comes back in June at Pimlico and ran a beautiful, beautiful stake race overnight for 100000 Ran second to a horse that's in this race, Blaine Debbie. And you know, off of that race, her second start in her four-year-old uh, uh, campaign, she ran in the uh, Pimlico race down there, uh, actually in Delaware, the Robert Dick Memorial Stakes, and... She ran second again with a beautiful, beautiful speed figure. And in her last race here at Saratoga on the 7th of August, uh, she was in the Glen Falls Stakes uh, behind Warlike Goddess. And we all know how good Warlike Goddess is. And she ran fourth by fifth, which was a great two. So this is her fourth start as a four-year-old. Um, she got two seconds and one fourth. I think this field is really, really weak. This is not a graded race. But other than one or two horses in here, I don't see why Luck Money shouldn't cash her first or take her picture as a four-year-old. I just think that this horse should be sitting on a great, great race. She has 36 days off, off of the August 7th race. I like everything about her. Castellano's up. Um, I mean, I like that a bunch as well. So... Again, I like uh, luck, luck money a whole lot in this spot. That's your number four horse. La Loon. La Loon is the, ten, is the five horse, has ten starts, three wins, one second and one third. This horse is by way of England, has never run in the United States. Let me just verify that. Of the ten starts, three wins and only 96,000. From what I can see on the speed figures that I could pull from her, uh, they look a little a cut below a lot of these in here, actually. And the number five is five to one. But again, when these overseas horses come, uh, we do need to pay attention to them and um, see what they do. But I want to see one first time across the grass here in the States on the number five, let alone. So we'll take a wait and see approach with her. And Essa, my flower. Essa, my flower. 18 starts, 4 wins, 2 seconds, and 4 thirds for a cool 75,000. Here's another one that's coming in from overseas. Essa, my flower, the number 6. Again, bred beautifully by uh, English Channel and on the back end uh, out of America, Bella Banna, who was by Dynaformer. And all of us know that Dynaformer was some kind of uh, turf horse who was by Roberto, I believe. And uh, so the number six, S of my flower, Ian Wilkes is your trainer. Again, just like the five, La Luna, uh, making her first USA uh, debut. I'm going to see one on the both, the five and the six. Okay? Um, but we know those horses do transfer fairly nicely. So again, S of my flower is 20 to 1, the number six. But we're going to take a wait and see approach on her. Not negative on her, just want to see another, want to see a race here in the States. 
And I believe here's your speed of the race, the number seven horse, Family Way. Family Way, that's right, trained by Brendan Walsh. Ten stars, three wins, one second, and two thirds. Very, very nice. Come out of an overnight stake race behind a horse that I picked in Saturday's race, Bluegrass Parkway, who's 20 to 1. Ran a beautiful, beautiful race last time, and this horse should be forwardly placed and or the engine. So I believe Family Way is the speed of the race. I believe that, you know, they're not going to be going quick because the race is so, fat, uh, so far, or at least I don't think they should be going quick. But I believe this horse would be on the lead or so close to it that it really doesn't matter. And she is 10 to 1 Family Way, the number 7. And um, got Tyler up, and uh, I, I'm really positive on the number 7 here as well, Family Way. And the number eight horse, Stan Tall. Well, Mr. Stan or Mrs. Stan Tall, 10 starts, two wins, one second, and three thirds for $160,000 in earnings. Rusty Arnold is your trainer. They paid quite a bit of money for this four year old filly uh, in the September Keelan sale, $320,000. This horse is by Uncle, Uncle Mo, uh, bred beautifully, you know, and flow is up. Uh, speed figures are okay. I think this is a huge price on start to on stand tall. It is 15 to 1 on the morning line. Speed figures are very, very good. They are consistent. Each one of them are improving. And like I said, this horse uh, continues to improve coming off of an 85-day rest. So, again, Rusty Arnold can get these horses ready to run. So, stand tall is definitely a horse to use in all exotic wagering, in my opinion. The number eight horse stand tall. I don't think that she's a win probability in here, but it wouldn't shock me if this horse put in a real, real big effort. Two back in May 21st at, Char at um, Churchill Downs, an allowance race. The number seven, who we just talked about, uh, Family Way, uh, who we believe is a speed beat, beat um, stand tall two back, and um, only by a head though. And so, again, if you kind of like the seven, you got to kind of like the eight, you know. And the difference in the price is one's 10 to one, one's 15. So they're about the same. I wouldn't leave either one of those horses in, off in, of any of my exotic wagering at all in here. The number nine horse, three flamingos. Three flamingos got 12 stars, two wins in three seconds, and one third for $146,000. Uh, not a bad horse. She's by English Channel. Uh, ran on June 19th at, at uh, Churchill Downs in the Lounge Race. Ran um, fourth. And Stan Tall, who we just got finished talking about, come out of that same Lounge Race and beat her. And when he, when she ran third, Stan Tall. So once again, she was been in against uh, horses like Warlike Goddess. Three, three Flamingos is a very, very nice horse. She's 20 to 1, but I believe that she's overmatched in this spot for sure. Blame Debbie. Well, we don't want to put too much trouble on Miss Blame Debbie, the number 10 horse. Well, this horse is your co-favorite at 4 to 1. I'm ah, not quite sure why again here. I guess, you know what, if a Grand Motion wants to send this horse, I guess he could. She does have some speed. Uh, she's been up in Woodbrine her last race. Uh, in the in the dance smartly stakes where she finished uh, fifth by three quarters and the speed figures are in line okay they are very very consistent uh, very very consistent numbers so you know I would have made this horse the favorite over the number three or Mich Michelin before I would have made Michelin the favorite but it's just splitting hairs, one seven to two Michelin, and the ten horse Blame Debbie is four to one. So it's one half dozen or the other, right? But again, Blame Debbie is very, very positive in here. Uh, Franco is up, and I expect uh, for her to um, to do some work in this spot, and she's probably going to be my uh, second or third choice in here for sure. I will not be leaving Blame Debbie off of any pick threes or pick fours that I plan, even though I'm really, really high on luck money, and I think luck money is the best bet on the card. The number 11 horse, well, go, go Big Blue Nation. No, they didn't. You know I'm a giant fan. Love that name on the number 11. Go Big Blue Nation. Has 17 stars, 3 wins, 3 seconds, and 2 thirds. Speed figures are okay. A very useful horse. Mike McCarthy is your... Uh, 
trainer of record, of record. Uh, Flavian Pratt is in the arms here, and the horse is by Adam, uh, uh, Animal Kingdom. So there is a lot of upside to uh, Go Big Blue Nation. Um, speed figures are just consistent and consistent. And I, at 5-1, to one, of course, she is the third choice in this race, and maybe rightly so. So the number 11 should be taken kind of serious, especially with Mike McCarthy as uh, the trainer and Mr. Flavian Pratt, your rider, the number 11. Go Big Blue Nation. And the number 12 and final horse, Palace Athea. Well, this horse it has 17 stars, 3 wins in 3 seconds. This horse is by declaration of war. Uh, Mr. Reed is the trainer. And the speed figure on... Uh, on uh, Palace Athenia just seems to be too weak here. She's 30 to 1 on the morning line, like the 1 and 2 horse here. They both, all three of them appear to be overmatched to me. The number 1, Joy of Treasure, and Naomi Broadway, the 1 and 2, and of course the number 12, uh, Palace of Athenia, seem to be overmatched. So the 1, 2, and 12 are total, total, total throwouts for me. And I won't be using them anywhere on my tickets in this spot today. So, what do we know in this marathon race for the ladies on Sunday, a mile and 516, race number nine? Well, I'm telling you, I looked at this race top and bottom, and Michelini, the number three, who was seven to two, did not frighten me at all. I thought the value or the fair value versus a win probability was an underlay at seven to two. Uh, we have this horse seven or eight to one here in our studio. That's what we would have made her. Uh, we would have made the morning line favorite to be the number 10, Blaine Debbie. We get that. We understand that part of it. So maybe we're just flat out missing something on the number three horse, you know, Michelin. But we don't like her, and when we don't like something, we don't back them, right? You know, we're not negative against her. We just don't like her in this spot today in this particular race. So what we do like is we're just heads over heels on the number four horse, Luck Money. We just think that this horse on our fourth start as a four-year-old is sitting on go-go. We just think that everything is uh, pointing her way. She's been in against horses like Warlike Goddess and her return race when Blaine Debbie, of course, beat her on June 13th after a 169-day layoff. She ran second to Blaine Debbie and, um, hey, now, she was 6-5 to five that day. So, here is what we're going to do. We think that uh, Luck Money is the best bet on the card on Sunday. We like the number 4 horse a whole bunch. Our second pick is going to be the number 7 horse, Family Way. Only because we think that the, uh, Mr. Walsh has this horse forwardly placed and could possibly control the tempo here and slow him and back him down. And there's just no way that I could not pick blame Debbie as our third choice here. So, there you go. We think it's luck money. That's where our money is going to be on luck money, the number four. It is our best bet on Sunday. Our second pick is the number seven, Family Way. It is the speed. I always love horses at a four-way place. And of course, number 10, Blame Debbie, is a very, very nice horse in her own right. So there you go, folks. There's your Lady Marathon on Sunday. And the Speed King loves luck money. As always, down in the description, please see our disclaimer. Please stay classy in all you do. Enjoy your weekend. The weather's going to be fantastic here on the East Coast, and we're happy about that. So as always, a lot of racing on Saturday. Remember, have some fun. And if the people go low, you know what to do. Stay classy. You go high. I'm your Speed King. I'm gone. Enjoy your holiday. Not your holiday. Enjoy your weekend. Please stay classy.